Hey guys, welcome to BeerGeekNation.com. I'm your host, Chris, and today we are looking at an anniversary beer from Schmaltz Brewing. This is their Jubilation 18, coming at 12.4% alcohol by volume. They are calling it a black barley wine, uh, which seems to me like it'd be an imperial stout, but who knows? They're using 18 different hops, 18 different malt varieties in this one. Um, if you guys have previously followed this beer in this series, last the last year was 17. They used 17 malt, 17 hops, so it was 17%. The year before, 16, 16, and 16 percent. They didn't do 18 percent this year because they wanted to be able to ship it to all their markets, which makes complete sense since they're now brewing out of a new facility out of New York. This does come in 22 ounce bottles as well. So let me get this big beer into a glass and get you guys to know what it smells, tastes, to get the final verdict on the Jubilation 18. All right, guys, the aroma on the Jubilation. Wow, big, big, big sweet dark fruits and slight roastiness, slight chocolate, dark chocolate, a little bit of a cocoa powder, a little bit of an alcohol sweetness, big dark fruits coming through, plum raisin. It's a big smelling beer. There guys, so the taste on the Jubilation 18. Cheers. Wow, that is sweet. Wow, right at the front of the tongue, big sweetness, dark fruits, really sweet raisins, um, like rum-soaked raisins, cherries, plums, middle of the mouth, a slight chocolate, slight roastiness, big, big, big uh, cloying sweetness in there, lots of dark fruit. I mean, it's very sweet, sugary sweetness, caramel toffee in the aftertaste, huge amount of sweetness, more dark fruits, getting that burn in there, that 12% definitely coming through, tasting some of that uh, alcohol as well, a little bit of heat in the mouth. It is a very, very, very sweet beer. If you don't like sweet beers, you are not going to like this one. And definitely a sipper. It's a big beer for sure. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Schmaltz Jubilation 18, 12.4% available now, guys. This one is getting a B minus. It is a very, very sweet beer um, to the point of being cloying. Uh, I don't know if it needs a little bit of time or what, but it is very, very sweet at 12%. You know, I would expect a little bit of sweetness, but it is overwhelming in this one. Uh, lots of dark fruits going on, lots of slight roastiness. It's kind of like a, like a Belgian quad meets an imperial stout. It's got a little of all those flavors. When you're doing 18 malts, you would expect that. Uh, a lot going on in this beer, but the overwhelming kind of consensus is that there is a lot of sweetness to it that almost takes away from the beer. Um, so, you know, if you've had the rest of the beers in this series, you kind of know what you're getting into. Definitely check this one out if you do enjoy the rest of them. But getting a B minus from me, and remember folks, life's too short. Chicken and beers. Cheers. Hey, I'm Jax, and welcome to the Grill Iron. Join us as we drop in on the tastiest tailgates you could ever sink your teeth into. Our cross country food adventure looks deep into a slow food revolution. We draft the best culinary trailblazers to step into our taste made kitchen at the Hyundai Fieldhouse and redefine the art of tailgating. While the teams fight it out on the gridiron, our chefs turn up the heat on the Grill Iron.